Hey, it's Kat here, and today I'm gonna to be making a doggy snood with some chunky yarn and corresponding hook. This is actually in response to a comment I got from Terry, and I'm so excited because this is the first comment I've responded to in a video, and she says, my goal right now is to make two dog snoods for whippets with long skinny necks, and she would love it if I made a video using bulky yarn. So that is what I'm going to do today. Let's get into it. So I'm going to make a slip knot. I've got my chunky yarn and corresponding hook. I'm actually using a super chunky yarn and a size 10 crochet hook. And then I'm going to chain 15. So one, two, three, four, Fourteen and fifteen. So we have a chain of fifteen, and this is going to measure about ten inches. Now we're going to go into the second chain from the hook. So not this one, but this one, and we're just going to single crochet all the way along the chain. So there's one. Two, three, four, five. Seven, oops, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you have 14 stitches along because you have one stitch to your turning chain. Okay, so you should be back at the start and you should have something that looks like this. And now what we're going to do is chain one. And I'm gonna actually add this onto my wall genie. Just make it nice and easy. Right, now I'm at the end here. I'm going to chain one. And then turn. So when we turn our work, we're going to turn it over like a piece of paper. Ta-da! Like that, okay? And now you're looking at the back side of your work. And now what I'm going to do is we're going to go into the third loop to create our kind of ribby look. There's a V at the top here. You want to go in this loop here. This is this called a third loop, okay? So don't worry about the first stitch, don't worry about that, but go straight into this, the third loop and the second stitch. So not this one, but this one. So you're gonna go straight in, and it because it's a smaller loop, it might be a bit tough to get into. So I'm just gonna pull that down with my finger like that. Once you're through, you wanna yarn over, pull through, and then you have two loops on your hook, and then you're gonna yarn over again and pull through. All right. At this stage, it looks a bit weird. It looks like, what is this gonna do? And you might have a couple of holes here and there. Don't worry about it. As soon as you keep going, you'll find that if you keep on going into the third loop and doing a single crochet in that third loop, 
then you'll create a nice little doggy snood. And then the last stitch is this one here, okay? So make sure you don't miss that out. That's just gonna be another single crochet. And then we're gonna chain one. Look what you did! It's nice ribbed effect. Amazing. Turn our work. And then we've got a lovely ribbed effect and we're gonna carry that on. So to carry that on, we're gonna go into that third loop. Don't worry about that one, just this one. Go in, pull through, in and pull through. So you're single crocheting all the way along this row. And the good thing about chunky yarn is it whips up super quickly. Oh, I love this so much already. What do you think of the color? I'm loving this mustard color as well. If you need to see any another ribbing video or how to crochet ribbing then I'll leave a link here. and then we're just going to do exactly the same thing chain one turn our work and we're just going to do exactly the same thing until it's the width that we want so a normal whip it snood is about nine inches nine to thirteen inches okay so we'll do ten inches <laughs> ten inches by ten inches basically um, and if you have a little doggy friend at home, then you can just measure when you think it's long enough, you can put it around the neck and also making sure it, it's going to be able to fit over their head. But I'm going to do a width of 10 inches. Let me know in the comments, please. I really want to know what type of dog you have and what type of dog you're making this for. Because we do love our furry friends, don't we? And this actually really doesn't take long at all. I think you could probably make it in like less than an hour. Just make sure it's lining up nicely. Chain and turn. Once you get into a rhythm, it's nice. It's even better when you've got a nice hot drink and cozy sofa maybe a couple of candles on and you're just in the moment crocheting that is really nice taking some time for yourself don't forget that little loop at the end About this yarn as well it's washable because we all know dogs like to wallow in mud i don't know if whippets do or not do whippets like to go into mud terry you're gonna be making two of these so you're gonna be really good at these by the time you're finished this technique as well can also be applied to a hat if you want to make a hat you can make a chunky ribbed hat like this you could use this yarn or if you wanted like a kind of <laughs> less chunky hat then you could use some thinner yarn and just use the corresponding hook but the technique is the same you could do if you wanted a ribbed hat you could for sure just use this technique and then just a couple of little tweaks i actually have a video 
also on how to make a chunky hat, which I will link here. And it's actually using the same yarn as well. Amazing. So I'm just gonna work until I have my 10 inches and then I'll come back to you. So here we go. Yeah, it's a bit over, over half of what I've done. So I'll come back in a minute and I'll show you what to do next. Now my material is 10 inches long or roughly that, I can then sew up the ends. And what I'm gonna do is bring the two sides together. And bring that through. And then chain. Now you're in a position where you can make some single crochets to sew the sides together. I'm going to take the end two loops, so one and two, and go through those. Yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through. And do that all the way along. Don't make this too tight because you don't want it to be smaller than the other rows. And that last one at the end, you can take your hook out and chop, and then you're going to pull, pull, pull until that's just a thread. And then all you need to do is weave the two ends in. You're going to just put your hook through any hole that's near the tail and just pull through that hole and then do it kind of the same all along one of your seams or it could be any, any of the holes really. And then this, as this is going to be the inside, you want to just end it so the tail pulls out to this, this side, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know if I'm explaining it very well. This is going to be the inside because we're going to turn it inside out in a minute. So you want the tails to be this side. And then when you're happy, you can chop them to length and then turn your work inside out. And then we have our doggy snood. Amazing, I think that would definitely fit over a whippet's head. Let me know what you think in the comments. Obviously, if your doggy is bigger or smaller, you can make this bigger or smaller. If you wanna make it wider, just do a couple more rows along and if you want to make it longer then just when you're chaining at first just chain a couple more easy doggy snood great for a christmas gift or a new puppy gift if you like this video please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i bring out new videos like this all the time and i would love to have you as part of the community if you want to see how to do this ribbed effect with a smaller yarn then there's a video here for you i'll see you there